So if you're ever hurt by a law you want the confidence that your attorney has your back, you got to call Sweet Jane. 800-500-5200. 800-500-5200. And SweetJane.com. Who say is a real client and was not paid to be on the radio. Yeah, right. Are you lying? The prevailing opinion is, if you don't live it, you don't believe it. The people at Uline believe in hard work, and they live it by being there 24-7 to answer your call, having 38,000 items in stock, and offering same-day shipping from 12 locations across North America. Business owners, sellers, buyers, shippers, and packers believe it. Uline is the hard-working, dependable source for your shipping and industrial supplies. Visit Uline.com. There's a comment headed directly towards her. Don't look up. Now nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a cast in a motion picture. We're going to need everybody tapping this. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Rob Morgan, Jonah Hill, Mark Ryland, Tyler Perry, Timothy Chalamet, Ron Perlman, Ariana Grande, Scott Miscuddy, Anesh Patel, Melanie Linsky, with Kate Blanchett and Meryl Streep. You guys discovered a comment? That's so dope. I have a tattoo of a shooting star in my back. That's terrific. <laughs> Don't look up. Rated R. In select theaters and on Netflix. Under 17, not admitted without an adult. 80 degrees already. Feels like springtime. Or wintertime. And get tumbling skies and go to the mango. Get survey plates and a stainless steel tool set when you earn 500 points on your reward card. The 28th or the 1st. Number 2. Top chef Fabio Viviani is bringing you the marketplace. It's a world-class casino dining experience like you've never experienced. And the number one reason. Book your break at MoragoCasinoResort.com today. Morongo, good time. Lori Patterson and Owen has recovered over $10 billion for accident victims. Injury cases require layers of expertise and experience who can get results. I'm Susan Owen, managing partner at Owen Patterson and Owen. We are a firm that knows what we're doing. Carefully consider the reputation and winning track record before you choose who to trust. You've been injured. Call Owen Patterson and Owen, 888-OPO-WIN. And we do. 888-OPO-WINS or go to OPOLaw.com. KFI AM 640. An iHeart radio station. <laughs> AM 640, Bill Handel, and it is a uh, Friday morning, February 25th. Boy, a lot going on this morning. Uh, the president has released uh, the name of his uh, Supreme Court nominee. It is Ketanji Brown Jackson. Uh, the invasion continues uh, in uh, Ukraine, and it looks like uh, the uh, capital uh, of uh, Ukraine, Kiev, may go down today. Russian troops are circling it, and then what ends up happening? Russia's already said, oh, we'll negotiate. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, does that mean, uh, well, capitula capitulation, obviously. Uh, but uh, one of the things we're hearing is that Ukraine will simply go all neutral. That's it. We're done. We're no longer leaning towards the West. So there's a whole world about NATO and Ukraine and why not Ukraine. I'll talk about that. And uh, also, L.A. County uses its indoor mask mandate uh, to lay. Uh, to uh, uh, today to allow people vaccinated to remove face coverings indoors, uh, which uh, has not happened here before. Now, here's what's going on. The only military that is involved in this war, Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine is an ally of the West. Why is there no there are no military forces involved in defending Ukraine, even though they're one of the good guys. And yesterday we talked about why Russia has invaded and the geopolitics and the history of Russia and Putin's personal view of Ukraine being part of Russia and as an illegitimate country on its own. We went through all of that. Today I want to talk about what the military is doing around the world. And uh, it is all about NATO. It's not about individual countries because... In, resp in response to anything that goes on in Europe, uh, the defense of Europe is all about the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which was created uh, after World War II, to fight the Russians, to fight exactly what the Russians are doing now. Started with 12 members, now there are 30, and one of the problems that is occurring with all of this, and why uh, one of the reasons uh, that Ukraine is being attacked by Russia, is that former Warsaw Pact, that's the Russian equivalent of, of NATO, the other side, 
All of these countries that are now independent were part of Warsaw countries, Lithuania, Estonia, etc., are now members of NATO. And they are on the Russian border. And all of a sudden, you see Russia looking at what used to be allies on our side now become enemies. It's like Canada and Mexico. Instead of being good guys, allies, they're now, they go to the Russian side and they become effectively enemies. And that's what's going on. So, let's figure out why aren't European troops in there? Well, first of all, under NATO, uh, all 30 countries have to agree. And that becomes a little problematic. Uh, all 30 countries are, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they have no problem condemning Russia. But going forward, not really. One of the countries that is more uh, recalcitrant about this is the United States. I mean, they're putting tons of, of troops and uh, carrier strike force, uh, which is uh, now, I think, in the Black Sea, and it's uh, moving in that area to stay for weeks, and there are exercises going on, and there are plenty of planes being landed, and there's additional troops going into Eastern Europe, into Germany, all in anticipation of the Russians going beyond Ukraine. And I don't think that's going to happen. And frankly, nobody else thinks that's going to happen. Because if it happens, if one of these NATO countries are attacked by Russia, then everybody goes to war. We're at World War II. There's no question. We're into World War II. Because uh, as you've heard over and over again, Article 5 of NATO, which was there from day one, and the entire concept of NATO is an attack on one country is an attack on all countries. And by international treaty, uh, if, let's say, Slovakia or Lithuania gets attacked, Poland gets attacked, all of NATO has to go to war with Russia. And all of a sudden now, wow, you've got a conflagration. Now, is Russia going to be by itself? Uh, is Belarus going to join Russia? I mean, Russia is the big player in terms of its ability to wage a war. As against all of NATO, it doesn't stand a chance. So everybody's playing chicken now, except that Putin is playing rooster. He has balls, he has brass ones that uh, no one thought this was going to happen. Well, at least big picture, no one thought this was going to happen. Years ago, you would say, this doesn't make any sense. Russia has gotten stronger. Uh, 20 years ago, we talked about this. Uh, 10 years ago, uh, Russian troops didn't have socks. When Putin came in and he decided, okay, we're going to take a falling apart Russian military. Actually, when he came in 20 years ago, I mean, their submarines were being sold for scrap. Uh, their ships were being sold off to Nicaragua, Guatemala. And so what Putin did is he built up this military to make it uh, one of the best militaries in the world. Very well trained. Uh, really high-end military equipment, uh, motivated uh, soldiers, socks, lots of socks. You know, they used to actually wrap uh, uh, rags around their feet as they were training. It was like, in fact, you see those Civil War and uh, Revolutionary War uh, pictures and descriptions of people wrapping their feet around. I mean, it's just, that's what Russia was about. Not anymore. Not anymore. So, is the U.S. military going to fight? No. Is NATO going to fight? No. Uh, will there be military help for Ukraine? Yes. Does it matter? No. Why? Because Ukraine doesn't uh, doesn't have the forces, may even have the equipment, but their military is far smaller. Their training is far less and less effective. They're, they just don't have the same war footing and the same war thinking that Putin has. So as this thing pans out, Let's see what happens over the next few days. Now the issue is Chernobyl. Russia took over Chernobyl. Why? Uh, that's coming up. But first, let's check in with Jennifer with the latest. Here's the latest news on the invasion of Ukraine. Ukraine's president is urging his Russian counterpart to sit down and negotiate an end to people dying. He made that appeal to Russian President Putin during a video message. Ukraine's leader also urged people in Europe to demand the war end by protesting in the streets. He said, it's your right. 
Pope Francis is taking concerns over Russia's invasion of Ukraine straight to the Russian ambassador. A Vatican spokesman told CNN Francis met with the ambassador for more than 90 minutes today. Earlier this week, the pontiff made an appeal for peace and tweeted, God is one of peace and not of war. We'll take a look at your drive on the 210 again in just a moment. The uh, light source whole house water filtration system, which I talk about, uh, and I'm a fan because I happen to have one and have for years, uh, when I talk about a whole house, the filtration system takes, uh, it, it does it outside the house. So as the water, highly filtered, delicious, you know, great tasting, obviously safe water goes into the house, it's every single faucet tap provides this highly filtered water. The light source system removes chlorines and chloramine, harsh chemicals, hard water problems are reduced. Uh, with a life source system, you eliminate the cost and hassle of buying bottled water. If that's what you do, you can kiss that one goodbye. You'll taste the difference uh, when you cook uh, and uh, when you use this water. As a matter of fact, think of this. You're bathing, you're cleaning, you're cooking, uh, your dishwasher, your clothes, all done with effectively bottled quality water. That's what the life source system is all about. No maintenance of any kind. Once installed, you are done. Call 800-334-5009, 800-334-5009, visit lightsourcewater.com, Light Source Water, taste and feel the difference. From the HMS Capital Weather Center, mostly sunny today with highs from the low to mid-60s. This report is brought to you by Caliber Garage Doors. Let's get another look at that 210. <laughs> Well, thanks, Danny. I'm glad we came up here. Now there's a couple of problems. I'm going to talk about the eastbound 210 in between the 605 and the 57. We're searching over Irwindale right now, the Irwindale overpass. There's something underneath the overpass. I can't quite see it, but it looks like it might be in the left lane. There's a carpool lane there as well, but everybody slowed to that point. Now, there was an earlier problem eastbound at Citrus. That's a little farther out to the east. That's clear. I watched that one clear itself. But now we got this to deal with. So again, bottom line, uh, 605 after the 57, the east 210 is just real, real slow. If you can still make it, uh, the option right now, the eastbound bend from the 605 after 57, that's in pretty good shape. Foothill, Arrow Highway, they're all good as well. The westbound drive, everybody's looking. It's kind of morning drive slow in the past the Dino. Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. Make Caliber Garage Doors your number one choice for new garage doors. Right now, $200 off, as low as $699 installed, including free bottom seals and hallway. I'm Jared Buckaloo, president of Caliber Garage Doors, and I personally guarantee will be any advertised price. CaliberGarageDoors.com. CaliberGarageDoors.com. This report is sponsored by HMS Capital. Refinance your home today. Apply with HMS Capital and any other lender. Let HMS Capital win your business. Visit HMSCapital.com. HMS Capital funding is a DBA, Golden Empire, HMS ID 2427. HMS Capital is licensed by the Department of Financial Protection. Springer and Metris owners, listen to this. Tired of waiting for a service department and paying too much? Check out our brand new Fletcher Jones Band Center in Costa Mesa. We're offering a better service value with no wait appointments and extended hours for your convenience. And as part of the Fletcher Jones family of dealership, your customer experience will always be second to none. Visit fjvans.com or stop on in. Mention this ad and the first hundred customers will receive a free oil change. The new Fletcher Jones Van Center, Costa Mesa. Keeping your work van working. When Bill and I needed new windows over 20 years ago, we picked a company we thought would do a good job. We were so disappointed. But we saw a genuine need for a company with strong character, one that people could have faith in. American Vision Windows was born right then and there. The best thing about working for American Vision Windows and with customers specifically is having their dreams come true. And we try to accomplish the best job we can to make them happy. It was a great experience. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I've been in the construction trade for 35 years. The level of quality of products that they use for their prep work was top notch. American Vision Windows continues to revolutionize the home improvement industry one customer at a time while changing the lives of our employees for the better. It's so simple. Happy employees. Happy customers. Zero percent interest, zero payments until 2023. Call 888-226-9908. That's 888-226-9908. Or visit AmericanVisionWindows.com. On approved credit, not all applicants will qualify. Cannot be combined with any other offers. New customers only. Restrictions apply. Call or see website for details. Offer expires in 28, 2022. CSLB number 778326. There's a lot of COVID info out there, but not all of it's true. So it's important to remember the facts. Do COVID-19 vaccines give people the virus? Nope. It's actually the opposite. Vaccines teach our cells how to fight COVID-19. And just like other vaccines, COVID-19 boosters help keep our immunity strong. Share the facts. 
not the virus. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Joining us today, Scott Painter, CEO and co-founder of Autonomy. It's a new company. It's right here in L.A. that offers car subscriptions. And Scott, why is subscription a thing that is going to be the next way for people to get into this market? The whole idea behind a subscription was being able to simplify the transaction and make it easier for the customer. You don't have to go into all of the offline paperwork, sign things in triplicate. Everything is happening on your phone. You're in control of the entire transaction. You can sign up and get the thing in 10 minutes. And all you need to be able to get a subscription is a valid driver's license and a digital form of payment. So you can put this entire thing on your credit card. You don't have to go out and apply for debt and get approved and weighed and measured and all of that. Buying a car also seems so cumbersome when you think about all that goes into it. This seems to be a super easy way to get you into this Tesla Model 3. What you're saying is that buying a car is a high friction experience for most people. This is the only way to truly get a car in a truly digital way. Well, thank you on behalf of all people like me who want a Tesla but want to do it cheap and easy. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Galileo had this Peloton for eight minutes and she said it's a class, it's not a tour. Do you use fake names? I do. Like Seymour Buzz? That was like a tour. But Tim Cudley's in your show. Uh, last name Mihawk? We know the text on KFI. Hey guys, good morning. Bill Handel here. This is KFI AM 640. It's on a Friday morning, February 25. Uh, coming up at 9 o'clock, uh, a, actually a fun topic, if you can believe that, uh, coming out of this Ukraine invasion. And that is uh, about President Zelensky of Ukraine uh, and where he was before becoming president. It is a wild story that I want to share with you. Uh, and then Foodie Friday with uh, Neil Sebagra. And that's, we, uh, that's how we end the week. Now, as we're getting more and more news about uh, the Russian invasion, uh, yesterday uh, we received news that Chernobyl had been taken over by Russian forces. And uh, the Ukrainians uh, released that information, released video of Russian troops, actually armed personnel carriers on the road uh, adjacent to the reactor itself. And uh, they said uh, that the Ukrainians, uh, that this is a dis disaster. Our defenders are giving their lives, this is Ukrainians, so the tragedy of 1986 will not be repeated. 1986 is when Chernobyl blew up. This is a declaration of war against the whole of Europe. And hang on a minute. Uh, they take over Chernobyl, and all of a sudden now, the risk of the reactor, I guess, blowing up, and another one of the incidents happening is now great. But Chernobyl's dead. I mean, they're not going to blow up Chernobyl. It's already been blown up. And it is covered with this uh, structure built by France that costs billions of dollars uh, that the whole thing is encased. And hopefully that lasts years. First time it was uh, encased in concrete and steel. The Russians that did it fell apart almost immediately. And radiation was still leaking like crazy. So uh, the Ukrainians are saying, look at how horrible this is. They're going to do it again. How do you do it again? How do you do Chernobyl out of Chernobyl? Well, I think what the Ukrainians are doing is painting a picture, as the Russians are on their side, of the most horrific things that could happen, even if they're virtually impossible. So what, what, why is it such a big deal? Look at a map of uh, Ukraine, and look at a map of Belarus, and look at a map of uh, where is Kiev, the capital. Uh, the capital is about, well, the border is uh, a couple hundred miles away in Belarus from Kiev. Between those two, on the main road, happens to be Chernobyl. So as the Russian forces leave Belarus, and that's where most of them uh, came from, the Russian forces, and they're on their way to Kiev, there's Chernobyl. And uh, are they doing anything? Was it a site that was important, a military site? No. Uh, was there any political advantage of taking Chernobyl? No. It just happened to be in the way. And it happened to be Chernobyl, and the politics of it, the optics of it, uh, allow the Ukrainians to say, look at that. Not only the Russians are bad guys, which, is, which they are, 
Not only are the Russians coming in and encircling Kiev, the capital, and intoxicating Kiev, that's the word that was used, which they are, but look at the horrors of them coming in and taking over Chernobyl. What horrors? What are the Russians going to do? Uh, open up uh, the structure of the again? I mean, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. But look at the politics. So I thought we'd need to just go over for a moment. Because I think Chernobyl is the single biggest incident that stopped uh, the entire world from going nuclear. And nuclear power. And without nuclear power, we'll never be able to stop fossil fuel from being used. So that becomes self sustaining on this planet. Uh, and the new fossil fuel without nuclear power being part of uh, the equation. It's just done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Oh my god. And we don't see my own. And this is a big deal. But Chernobyl is a very part of all of this. And it's a big part of it. And we all go back to, and this is what the Russians really have to handle in many ways completely on the face of the United States. So uh, we go back to April 26th, 1986. Oh, mm -hmm. And uh, there was a routine exercise to test whether an emergency water flow system would work during the power line. So um, all of a sudden, the water system shuts down. Within a couple of seconds, the water control reaction causes structure to build up and react into the floor. Hmm. And that thing is so powerful, it grows through the root of the reactor, and not only is the reaction going to be released, but the source of the reactor building. They are going to continue to own the reactor world now. Because you have a reactor, you have a building, you have a reactor, and you have a nuclear reactor, and you have a big supply of energy. Hey, right. Just made it easy. So, uh, a couple of two seconds later, a second explosion blows up from uh, reaction number three, and the automatic oh. safety system uh, didn't kick in because they were turned off during the test. The firefighters go immediately, and they're fighting to the idea of the danger. And we were here after the danger. That was a lot of In fact, you go down and see the concrete and feel melting. Oh, it's a huge And firefighters who were there before they died uh, described the radiation of tasting like butter. And you see them uh, pink and needle on their faces. And within a matter of days, they were dead. A helicopter pilot that was bouncing the reactor, the new housing district. It's a big concern for days to work on the two. It's a big concern for days to work on the two. It's a big concern for days to work on the two. And the pilot is a big concern for days to work on the two. And I don't know if you saw the movie Chernobyl, it's a part of the movie that was made up in the movie. And that's what it is. It's a big concern for days to work on the two. Very, very, very fun. 